Hey friends, welcome to this video. Now here I'd like to dive deeper into how to switch between various connection types. Specifically, you probably know that you have two options to connect to data in Power BI. Either you choose live connection or direct query, it depends on the data source on what it's called, or you use the import mode. Import mode means you import the whole data into Power BI and then you can create your reports. And also, whenever possible, use the import mode. Because it's faster, it's the better option. It gives you more flexibility. However, sometimes you need to have a live connection. Either because it's required for whatever reason, or your data model is simply too big, so you can't import all the data, or there are various reasons for that. So let's say I'm starting with a live connection. Let's do that. In my case, I'm using my own Microsoft SQL Server, which I've installed locally. Um, but if you don't have one, just follow along. Because if you have this use case in the future, then you know how to handle this. And that's the main point here. If you have a database, of course, feel free to connect to this database and then follow along with your own data. So what I did was, um, let me just go to connection first, uh, SQL Server. I can either click up there or I go to import data from SQL Server here. Or I can go to get data and also choose SQL Server database. So let me click on this. And then this window opens and I can paste my connection in here. That's my local SQL Server database. And, or actually my SQL Server, the database itself, I will select this later on. But here, and that's important at the beginning, I need to specify my connection mode. I have import and I have direct query. And under advanced options, I can also, if I go there, write my own SQL statement. But for now, I just want to connect and I want to choose direct query for the beginning. Also hover over here, you see that select default storage mode for new tables. So now I'm using a real-time live connection using direct query. So let me click OK. Then a window appears and I can see my database here, my navigator. You probably, when the first time you log in, you see uh, an additional screen here, which requires you to either use your Windows credentials or a specific um, username and password to connect to the database. Now here, let me go to the bike store option here. And there I actually have tables, which is the employees table, my orders table, and there's also a suppliers table. These are exactly the same tables as in the Excel file from the, the course. I just imported them into, in this case, the SQL Server. Now, if I click on load, just want to load it directly into the model. For now, I don't do any transformations because that's not the main point here. You see that, the just a second, the data is there, the tables are available for us, and we can create visualizations. So let's do that. Let's keep it quite simple because we don't have created any measures here, but that's fine. But for now, let's just use, for instance, customer, uh, actually use the customer country. Let me take this option. And then I'd like to see maybe the sales. And I switch this really easy to a map. So go on here and choose here the map. And we see we got data in here, right? So I can see here my sales across various regions around the globe. Also, maybe something else. Let's say then you specify here the various categories you have. And you would like to see the sales there as well. So I take the sales um, by that. And let's actually choose maybe our bar chart like that okay so and then i drag this um, actually select it and make it a little bigger so on the screen and then we have this visual as well now please please be aware as i said in countless videos before this is not best practice so you don't want to use the default columns like that which are summarized here because it's a numerical field you want to create measures for that right and uh, of course your report probably looks looks much better than this but the point is actually the connection here. So you have created your report, which certainly, as I said, looks much better than mine. But now you have you decide that I want to go back to uh, an import mode. So I don't want to use live connection because I have now figured out that my data set is not too big. I can use uh, import mode. And also my direct query or live connection is too slow. And I actually want to speed up my report to give my end consumers a better experience. So I also want to now import my data instead. How can I handle this? 
Because so far, what's missing, at least from my point of view, is a simple button which allows me to now switch to import mode. So from the direct query to the import mode, and actually also back from the import mode to the direct query. Unfortunately, right now, at this point in time, this is not that easy in Power BI. At least there is no button. But we can make it easy. The way it works, or let's say one way it works, uh, because there are always more than just one way to skin the cat, right? But one way uh, how this can work is the following. At first, go to the, and one point, so one additional point I would like to point out is you don't have a model view in here, right? For live connection, um, or a data, data view, sorry. For live connection, you only have the report view and the model view in here, which by the way is not set up. So let's do that here as well. Employee to employee. And also, that's fine. Click OK. And then also connect the, uh, where is it? The supplier D to the supplier D, like that. So just to make sure that we have a prop proper model in here. OK. But now let's stick to that. Let's say you have your model set up. Uh, in the report, you have created a really advanced, good looking report, which you want to share. And now the end consumers come to you and say, well, the report is too slow. Direct query is not what we want. We want to have an import mode. And you say, sure, I can switch back to import. Um, so then, of course, now you said it, now you have to do it. So how do you do it? Well, what you could do is the following. You could go into transform data, go on here, and then you simply, let me click refresh here, then you simply remove all tables you have in the model. So let me just select all of them, hold my shift key, select all of them, right click and say, I'd like to delete them, delete. Yes, I'd like to delete them. And now all of them are gone. So I don't have any connection anymore. I don't have any data in the model. Now, if I click on close and apply, let's see what happens. Well, exactly what we would expect. So you see that the visuals are still there on the page. They don't get removed, but they can't show anything because there is no data anymore, right? Because we removed the data. Now the following. We can now go to transform data one more time or also to SQL Server here, for instance. Doesn't matter if I import the data in the query editor or from here, maybe let's do it here directly, go in here and choose again the database, which is this one here for me. And now I specify, I'd like to use import. So last time we had direct query, this time I'm using the same data source, but I use import. So if I click okay, and then I choose under bike stores, my three tables, like for instance, my employees TBL, my orders TBL, and my suppliers TBL. And now I click on load. And let's see what happens. So we load the data, but this time with the import mode. And we see we got our complete report back. So because the tables and the names, everything was the same, we simply replaced the data source from the direct query to the import mode. And we did not lose our visualizations and everything we have created up front. We just switched the data source by removing what we had, the live connection or direct query, and simply use the import mode to get the new data. And the report works fine. And slicing and dicing also works in here, right? So if I go in here, you can see my data is still working. Now let's say I want to switch the data source completely. So from, in this case, SQL Server to, let's say, an Excel file, so a flat file. The trick is exactly the same. So if I go to transform one more time, I'm choosing all the tables I have, all those three, and they're currently spelled employee TBL, orders TBL, and suppliers TBL, or supplier TBL. So let's just delete them. Yes, I'd like to delete them. Click on close and apply. Let's just see what happens. We got the same problem. So there is no data. We can, so can't display anything. But now I go to the option to Excel workbook. I'm choosing my Power BI training file, this one. Click on open. And let's just see. And here we got exactly the same tables. Like there's employee, orders, and suppliers. So let's actually choose the sheets in here. You can also choose the tables, by the way. But for me, that doesn't make any difference. So I click on 
in this case, load. And let's just see what happens. So we load the data in here. And we still got an issue. Why is that? Well, remember, the table names are different. The underlying data is the same, but the table names are different. So let's do go to transform data and fix this. So instead of employees, I simply name this employee TBL, like that. I go to my orders and name this orders TBL. And for suppliers, it was supplier TBL. So I click this option, also go in here and name this also the same name as we had in the original data source. Beside this, the data we have is exactly the same. I just renamed the tables to have the same name. So click on close and apply. And then let's just wait what happens. And we got our data back. And now we have switched from a SQL Server database to a flat file, which in this case is an Excel source. So that's it actually. This is a way how it can switch between data sources so and also between a live connection and uh, or direct query and the import mode. So as I said, I hope that Power BI will open up uh, another way to do this, maybe with an easy switch of a button, which would be of course the best because other tools actually provide this. But for now, this is an easy way to actually change the data source. As I said, from live connection or direct query to import mode and also between different data sources. So if you want to go from, uh, in this case, SQL Server to Excel, you can do this. But much more often, it's probably the other way around. So you start maybe with Excel, just to create a mockup to create the report. And then you want to switch to uh, a database like SQL Server or another database. And then you can do exactly the same trick, just the other way around, which you've seen in the video. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. As always, thanks a lot for watching. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.